Hello, it's Paul Doty again for Blood Good, Stand in the Light, the Blood Good podcast. We have been dissecting Dangerously Close, the new album by Blood Good, and we are getting dangerously close to the end. We are going to be looking at that dog, that dog, <laughs> get rid of the dog. I will, but see, he knows I'm going to get this toy away. He'll bark at the dog Maybe this isn't going to work, honey. <laughs> I'm glad we weren't deep into that. Mm-hmm. Are we recording? Is this recording yet? Hello? That's one, two, three. All right, we're rolling. We've got speed. <laughs> I like that. I haven't heard that one for a while. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, levels are good. Here we go. That one definitely is uh, more of the modern vibe. I think that was Blood Good doing its version of Alice in Chains or, or something like that. <laughs> in the Trenches, what a fun song. All right, this is, uh, this is an episode that's just going to knock your socks off. I mean, I'm telling you. In the Trenches, uh, another song that kind of came in a little bit late, I think Mike brought it in to a rehearsal with Kevin and I. That was one of mine. I came up with that lick, another drop D song. I played the very skeletal part of that at a rehearsal, and everybody says, oh man, we love that song. Uh, very simplistic, very industrious. That one kept building, you know, just got that vibe going. and. I honestly, of Michael's stuff he's brought to the band since day one, I think that's the best thing he's done. In the trenches. <laughs> it was so simple it was almost hard to play because it had the ju 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 and so every time I would play one extra one, I can't remember what part it was, and I would just get this big scowl. And I'm like, I'm just not good enough to play five notes in a row. Or <laughs> Again, very, very basic. Just holding down and making it drive. You know, you gotta dig in on this one. might not be the most popular one that ever was, or maybe the after less, but lyrics on it, the most meaningful. But I just love that tune. People that know me think, oh, you're a metal drummer. Well, I'm, I'm just a drummer that's playing metal right now. I've always considered myself more of a groove drummer. In the trenches. This is the one that uh, Paul Michael put together with the Blood Good highlight reel. It really didn't have much to do with football, except that some of the terminology of get in the trenches and you know that kind of thing. Uh, just believe. It had a lot to do with the Seahawks. But really does have to do with the walk that we have with God. And, and, and again, digging in and, and uh, fighting the battle and fighting the good fight. And so that's really kind of become the uh, another flagship song of, of the album. We ended up using it on a Seahawks video. Um, and there's a lot about the lyrics that we can talk about later, but again, just a really fun song to play. Don't be a dead man walking. You know, uh, talking about being in the trenches, the way things are going these days, it's pretty dirty out there. It's pretty dirty. And uh, I'm getting to the point in my Christian walk where I'm starting to say, you know what, Lord, doesn't matter. What matters is I know you and you know me. And I'm going to do my best to be the best example to as many people around me as I can. And living in Vegas, oh my gosh, the harvest is wonderful. It's a perfect song to improve. And that was another one where the solo just 
came off. It just came off. I just knew exactly what I wanted it to do, and it just came off. And so that's probably up there with Prey and Lamb of God. Those were my three favorite solos, I think, on the record that, that I did. That's, that's another aspect of this album I really appreciated, that there was so much diversity to it. And you know, we had a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And it was just a lot of fun to be able to play different rhythms, different feels. But when it comes to doing a real industrious type song like that, I love just to holding it down. Kudos to Michael. His bed of music that he put down, and then uh, we had um, Greg Sweet doing the rehearsals with us and keeping things going, and he grabbed a megaphone and started doing this megaphone thing. And, and I know megaphone's not earth-shaking, groundbreaking musical concept, but for that song, it was just a marriage. It came out as soon as I started hearing that megaphone sound and we're driving this, this groove. I knew it was gonna be cool. But very cool, a very cool idea. I thought really, really had character to it and is definitely a great song to end the album with. It's fun just holding down the rhythm like that and just being just really solid and letting the music speak for itself. This is a song that Michael came up with, a great rock riff. And I helped him in some of the lyrics and, and uh, melodies. And it's called In the Trenches. I'm Paul Doty, and you are listening to Stand in the Light, the Blood Good podcast. We are dissecting the album Dangerously Close, and we are dangerously close to the ends. We are looking at In the Trenches, and tonight we are in the trenches with Michael Bloodgood. Hey, Mike. It's cold down here in the trenches, Paul. It is. <laughs> it is. But, you know, it's where stuff grows. Yeah, ah, very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> in the trenches, uh, safe to say that this is the band's second single? I'd say that's pretty safe to say. Kind of an unofficial video out there. Uh, yeah. Right before the Super Bowl, we had the big Seahawks video using uh, In the Trenches. So, yeah, you know, kind of, a, kind of the second single from it. And uh, just a, a really great uh, song on, uh, you know, something we don't usually like to think about but how important the trenches are uh, in our walks. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I didn't have a concept for the song initially. It was just a lick that I wrote, a drop D lick, and, and you know, I had just the initial, da -da -da, you know, da -da -da, the, the groove, and everybody loved that groove. Then eventually came up, you know, with the bridge and the chorus idea. And, and I just, I really wanted to write a song as it began to, you know, flesh it out a little bit in a spiritual sort of way. Can you flesh something out in the spirit? Well, you know what I mean. Anyway, <laughs> is that I think at that time that I was writing the song, I was teaching out of the book of James to my church. And it's just talking about the importance of trials and tribulations in, in your life as a Christian. It's in the trials that that our faith grows. And I remember as a young believer, an evangelist or one of the, my pastors, you're saying that, you know, that nothing grows on a mountaintop. You know, it's beautiful and it's scenic, but there's no fruit there there's no vegetation that you know the tree line stops and there's nothing but rocks and snow or whatever and i thought that was great and that you know our our life as a believer is not just one mountaintop experience to another but it's when we get into the valleys that our faith is tested and that we grow as christians and we love we all love those mountaintop experiences but you know we have to come off the mountain eventually and that's where it happens to go. And that's where our faith becomes real. And so that's why I wanted to do kind of a, you know, I'm a World War II, Civil War buff. And I always wanted to do kind of a battle. You know, I wrote a song called Do or Die. And one of our early albums, kind of a battle theme. And I just kind of love that. And so that was really a part of this. Just thinking specifically of the guys in the First World War, digging those trenches in no man's land and just that horrific war. And yet how it changed men's lives. And I just kind of use that kind of as an analogy. 
that, you know, um, how, how, how else do you learn about the things of the Lord? You know, you don't learn about them on the mountaintop. You learn about them in your daily struggles. And when uh, uh, huge events hit your life, you know, is, is, again, we've talked before in previous podcasts, that's when your faith is tested and that's when it becomes real. It's either real or it's not real. And so the, I just I felt that was just the, kind of the catalyst behind that song. And that when you're there, you know, you don't have to be afraid. You just need to stay on your knees and and you're working out your salvation in fear and trembling, as, as Paul admonished us to. So that that was kind of the catalyst to it. And also there's another line in the song that ta- uh, taken from the book of James, how that lust turns into sin and then sin turns into death. You know, it's come from it comes from our own hearts. You know, it's not the devil made me do it. It's I made me do it. And just, you know, just kind of getting in people's faces about that. And that, you know, there is no place else to turn. It, it's This is when we make our decision. This is when we say, I am for Christ or I am against Christ. I believe in Christ or I don't believe in Christ. And not to sound like a broken record, but once again, just a very different track for Blood Good. Yeah. You know, I, I can't remember any other Blood Good tracks with Bullhorn. Yep. That was something we really wanted to, <laughs> to give up. Yeah, unless you know, we used to cover Winchester Cathedral back in the day. No, we didn't. So yeah, it just it just seems so appropriate. Uh, we were trying to get again thinking about World War One. We we're thinking about you know old time broadcast radio. Yep. And so we really wanted to use that effect on on Les's voice. And of course, there's a lot of talking and not singing. Uh, also, something very different for us and and putting these words into where it, you know it made sense and and would work. Yeah, it was re- it was a challenge, but it was a heck of a lot of fun piecing this thing together because it was so off the beaten path for us. And it just works so well on a lot of different levels. Oh, I'm glad. (laughs) (laughs) And then, you know, when we were recording it, Oz had flown in and we're just playing him our basic tracks. And of course, he was familiar with the three that he co-authored, hadn't heard some of these other songs at all. And and, and Trenches, he just, I remember him just kind of sitting up and looking over his little grandma glasses, you know, going, oh. So we start tracking, and he breaks out that bottleneck and starts playing the slide part in the in the choruses. And I thought, well, where did that come from? He goes, oh, are you kidding? That has to be there. And, of course, I, I love it. But we've never used slide guitar on a Blood Good album. Mm. You know, so that was, that was the kind of thing that was just so much fun when he just kind of came up with that. And, of course, Les ended up writing the outro solo you know you know the we call it the pirates of the caribbean you know sitting in the dirt fear and sweat you know mm-hmm. and literally just think about guys in the trenches you know in the military mm-hmm. and and uh you know too what, what's the line too young to die too late to regret we want to live but we're not out of here yet they're still in the trenches and so it's kind of almost a hybrid song in that sense again a, a really fun song to play live and and uh i, I think it's it, in the band everybody just you know just loves when we break it out at the end of the uh the song we've got tons and tons of people there what yep. who, are, who are we listening to well obviously it's the band all the guys including kev we're all in there and also one of our kickstarter reward levels was hey at this level you get to come and do a blood good song and so this one was an obvious choice to bring in because we wanted to create this army at the end of this song, so you're going to hear a lot of different voices and textures because it's it's some of our great uh, Kickstarter supporters. That's great. <laughs> that's totally cool. Yeah, in the trenches, it's it, that that's just something that I mean, the the best parts of your walk as a Christian are going to come out of those times. But we don't want to go through no, those times. Nobody, yeah, even Teeter said that it's not fun at the time, but it reaps benefits, and and that's you know even in in the breakdown before the. Uh, the guitar solo, you know, it says, don't be a dead man walking, which I've always loved that line, you know, because, you know, the guys that are being executed on their way to the gas chamber or whatever. And faith untested is no faith at all. I mean, we can say we have great faith, but until it's tested, it's no faith at all. So it doesn't, it's meaningless. It's like, you know, I believe this chair, it will hold me up. Really? Well, go sit in it. Well... I don't really want to sit in it, but I'm sure if I did, you know, well, there, there, that's no faith. Faith is some, is action. It's stepping out when God says, do it, you go and do it. And so that's how our faith is tested, again, especially during the trials. And again, that last line, which we mentioned earlier in the podcast, you know, nothing grows on the mountaintop, but in the trenches. And that's just, that's the way it is. And that's how we learn. Hmm. And if it were not for Europe, this would be the last podcast. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. More details to follow. But but we are going to, we are going to do one more podcast. <laughs> 
because Europe's out there. Yes. And you're going to have to tune in to find out what that's all about. What does that mean? And until then, uh, we just salute everybody out there that are in the trenches. Amen. For listening to Stand in the Light. Now visit us at bloodgoodband.com or like us on Facebook. Or if you got a Twitch, you can Twitter us. We've got a Twitter page. Stand in the Light is brought to you by West Coast Sound and Light and Be Good Records. Blood Good is Michael Bloodgood, Les Carlson, Paul Jackson, Oz Fox, Kevin Whistler, 
and occasionally David Sefiro these days. Listen, we've enjoyed our time with you. Also, I want to remind you that the licensing fees have been paid for. This is Les Carlson, and don't forget to say your prayers. <laughs>